Today I want to show you what I've been using to add animations to my UI designs. I'll show you where I find free animations, how to customize them and add them to your Figma files, and the best way to hand them off to engineers for development. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie, if you're new, I'm a product designer currently working in food tech and here on YouTube I make videos about design, productivity, and life as a designer. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any new videos from me. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so first let me show you where I go for all of my animations. It's called lottiefiles.com. And by the way, this is not sponsored. Um, I always use the free ones. So if you go under discover and go to free animations, I'll sometimes start there. Um, but let's decide exactly what we want to look for. So let's say we want to look for a loading animation. I'm just going to type in loading and see what we see here. You can do something super, super simple. And then, you know, there's also things that are a little bit more fun. So let's pick something fun for this example. Oh yeah, like let's do this. We'll do kind of like a food example. Um, so here is the loader. And as you can see, you can download this um, in five different ways. The ones I always do are GIF, and Lottie JSON. That's what you're going to need for the developer. So what's nice is you can make a bunch of edits to this. So you can edit the speed. Um, I always like to just keep it kind of how it is. You can edit the background color um, and you can even edit the colors straight in here. So let's go in and let's see. I'm gonna move my face over here. So maybe we want this to be black and we'll hit update. So now that is black. And maybe we want this to be like purple. Update. See, and now it is completely custom. So we could add our own brand colors and things like that. So I love that you can do that. It just makes, you know, life so much easier. If you wanted to um, customize this even further you can actually um, download it as a zip and within that zip is an Adobe After Effects file so you can actually edit a lot more of these properties in After Effects and kind of make it your own animation but I usually don't take the time to do that if I don't absolutely have to so now I am going to download it so here I've downloaded the JSON file. I'm gonna just drop that on my desktop, but we also want to download this as a GIF so that we can use it in our Figma file. So I'll just click upload to my previews. So here we have the same options as before. We can convert this to a GIF. So I'm gonna hit that and convert and download. And so now we have this file as a GIF and a .json file. So now let's head into Figma and I will show you how easy it is to drop it into your Figma project. Okay, so we have this app screen that is sort of like a track your food screen. And I think this would be a good place to add the loader. Um, maybe this page is currently loading. It's trying to find where you are and where the driver is. Um, so it needs a little loader icon. So I'm going to hit R for rectangle. Um, and I'm just going to give this a bit of a shaded background so that the um, animation really stands out. So I'm just making this maybe like 15% opacity. And then I'm just grabbing my GIF and I like to make it into a circle. I just think it looks better um, like that than a square. I'm going to plop it on there, make sure it is on the very top of our artboard and center it and then I'm just gonna select on this artboard and go up here to the play button to play the prototype so that we can preview this GIF. And there you go, we have this loader animation. And we can even wire this up in prototype mode so that this screen 
will, after a delay of maybe like two seconds, um, we'll navigate to there. Um, yeah, so that it sort of seems like it's loading. So we'll play this. There we go. So it's just a quick little loader animation. So there's one more thing I want to show you and it has to do with this JSON file. So as you can see, this file is code. It is very confusing as a designer. Personally, I have no idea what any of it means, but all I know is that it translates to this when dropped into the code. So sometimes you may want to check that this is doing what you want it to do in the code before you hand it off to the developer. So I found a cool site where you can do this and it's called drawer design slash preview Lottie animation. Um, and so I'll leave this linked below um, along with the Lottie site as well. So it's super simple. We can literally just drag this right into here and it will preview this GIF for us or this JSON file for us. So we can make sure that in the code, it's gonna look exactly how we want it to look and exactly how it looked in our Figma file. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and you might also like some of my other tutorials. So I have a whole playlist dedicated to those that I will leave linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.